Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as the Russian Empire. So, last time, we didn't do a whole lot, and we were mostly battling infamy. That dreaded, dreaded infamy. So, uh, like I said before, I still want to take out some African colonies, but let me address a few comments. First of all, I've changed my party, the ruling party, from something to pan-Slavic. I was Slavophile, but now I'm pan-Slavic, which should make it, make it possible... To withdraw from the Geneva Convention, <clears throat> um, well, I, mean, I guess we could, but it makes it possible for us to, ooh, travels with Constantine, to actually manually build factories. So, let's look at Poland, because this is why I wanted Poland for so long. There was a comment from yesterday saying I should build factories where we have goods, which is smart, and I should have done this previously in other episodes, but switched parties and just create the factories yourself. So. We've got a lot of coal in West Galicia. I love, love, coal. Let's see, we want to build some coal. If we've got coal, we want to probably build some steel factories. Just so that we have it available. Oh, what else uses coal here? Uh, we're making steel, which would be nice. We need that. Actually, we have a little bit of sulfur here as well. Mm, I th I'm thinking, yeah. That would be pretty good to do, build ammo down here. So I can never lose the poles. I must have the poles forever. Hmm. Glass? I mean, that'd be okay. Do we really need glass? I don't think we do. Small arms would make sense down here. Artillery. Oh, we need explosive factories. And we need cement. I'm really going to build a pole in. Cement. Oh, we already have a cement factory. That's good. And we must get one of these then. Alright, and we'll throw in one glass, just because we can. Cool. Also, another comment was, play as France someday in HFM. I might, actually. I might play as France. I don't know. I was thinking about playing as every major power and then some other countries as well. But another comment was that we still have socialists in Shanghai. Yeah, I know. I know. I was, at the end of the last episode, actually off screen, I'm going to send this fleet from St. Petersburg over there so we can take them out. It's annoying. It's very, very annoying. But we know it is what it is. Let's see. We've got... Stacks moving around because we went to war with China. Ah, nice. That's more than half Russian here. Even though there's only six thousand population, that's okay. All right. Oh, we, wait. We got we got coal up here. Ooh, nice over here. Yes, please. So steel mill then, and Irkutsk. Uh, ooh, Hispaniola. Very nice. Good, good, good. Our industrial score isn't looking bad. We're tenth in the world, which is. Not great, but it could be worse. It could be much worse. Uh, since we're making steel, we'll also build one of those over here. Hmm, anything else for coal? We're making ammo. We're going to have the steel. You might as well build... Basically, this will be the West Galicia of our east. Pretty much. You might as well build one of those, too, because why not? And an explosive factory. That'd be fine. Actually, do we have cement there? Do we have cement? Yeah, we do. Good. Uh, what other type of RGOs do we have around here? Uh, another comment. Well, we can't see it because I'm not zoomed in far enough. Ooh. We have opium. Great. I love opium. But another comment from yesterday was how to build a 60-stack army. 60,000-man, 60, 20-brigade army. Ooh. Ukraine. You got some oh, my God. The Ukraine is so much coal. I should have realized this before. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? What am I doing? And what province is this? Kharkov. Cool. And I know I said that wrong. Uh, another comment. Yeah, that was the 60,000 man army. That is something I should probably do. Would you use two? Let's see. Six infantry. Two hussars. Uh, two engineers and six artillery. I might do that. Maybe. We'll see what happens. I'm not sure. Maybe. Yeah, we'll probably, we might do that. I know you, Hussars are getting some recon. At least a little recon's good. I know that. You might be able to change out one Hussar for another infantry, depending on what you want. Maybe a guard. Let's do that right here, too. Just so that we have several different locations. So that if one location gets taken over, we'll still be okay. Ooh, Latvia. Nice. All right, let's let time go on a little bit. Get some unemployed people in. Oh, oh boy, Moscow. Well, I guess we're done during doing cleric stuff for now. Do some cleric stuff up here since we have quite a few. Actually, do we have any factories in Moscow? 
We have one. Well, what are the RGOs around Moscow? Well, we got timber. Oh, we do have some... Oh, quite a bit of coal. Nice. Steel. I want to make sure Russia will be forever self-sufficient. Now, this will probably lower the price of goods here, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, do we need fertilizer? Mm. Just make it anyways. Screw it. We'll do it. Anywhere else? I mean, we could make, probably make some canned good factories around here. Let's see, you guys are okay. Eh, yeah, go to here. Can goods. Cannery. Nice. No, we got some projects here. Might as well. Cool. Since they're building it up anyways. Wow, that's a lot of investors. Kaboom! A fire at the Tbilisi explosive warehouse has caused a massive blast that someone could say that could be heard all the way to St. Petersburg. The devastation is massive and hundreds of lives in the vicinity are reported lost. As the fire spreads throughout the city, the fire departments need to prioritize. The fire threatens to spread out north to the affluent Tbilisi neighborhoods and south to poorest areas. What to do? Save the rich? We make no distinction? We make no distinction of class. We are all under me. Haha. <laughs> cool. Alright, so the Poles will do very well. We're going to have I probably have quite a boom in industry. This will probably be the second major episode where we have gr huge growth in industry. Oh, the Grand Duchy of Finland. Um, our subjects in Finland have been become restless and resistance against attempts of Russification have been growing. Many within the Russian government believe that a restoration of the Diet of Finland and self limited self-government for the nation is the only answer. This, however, will be seen as a recognition of Finland as a country and will block any future attempts to try to Russify Finland through peaceful means. Mm -hmm. That's okay. And more education. I love it. Oh, machine guns are pretty good to get, too. Machine gun armaments. That's nice. That's really nice. Women's suffrage movement. Is that good for Russia? Hmm. We'll see what happens. Organic chemistry, integrated rails. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to do all this stuff. Actually, precious goods. Nice. I like that. Definitely need to get better ships. At least, at least get steamer transports so we can get rid of clipper ships. At least do that. And now we have 0.14 a day. Nice. And I do have a cup of great Russian coffee here. Except our budget is looking wow. I don't think we want to go to war anytime soon. Oh. No. Okay, I, I can increase the taxes on them. Um, yeah, poor people are going to get taxed quite a bit. That's okay. Do that. Do that. Keep construction high. I want to build, 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 build. We're ninth in the world now for industry. Finally. Finally, we're rising up once again. Actually, we've been on the rise the entire time. Ooh, coal? I see coal. I see. I say build. I don't even know where this is. Where is this? Russian Zetsu. Uh, oh. Oh, did I build that somewhere else? Oopsie. Cool. Make him go kaboom. That would be enough for that for now. So, <clears throat> socialist leanings have become, become quite prevalent in the parts of the Russian Empire. And among these socialist radical ideals have been spreading. Namely, that the common man can only achieve true freedom by overthrowing the government and establishing a rule by the working class. They say that the Russian government is tyrannical, and one that will never bend to true reform. And the people have been listening. Crack down on radicals. Uh, keep the problem localized. <coughs> oh. Mm. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I'm trying to liberalize it for you guys. I'm trying to give you more freedoms. What are you talking about? Ooh, coal. Let's see. And then we're going to throw him one. One what? Ammo. Lots of ammo. Sure. Let's see. Great powers of the world. So obviously, I can't really expand at the current time of because of our... Infamy, as I'm trying to lower it, lower it, lower it. Prussia's still doing okay, but they're led by the Liberal Party. Huh. Usually, you, I don't ever see that, them being led by the Liberals, but, you know, they were broken so hard by Austria and France early game that it doesn't even matter, probably. And we got uh, steel steamers, nice. And Italy's got some German boys in there, under them. Hmm. Mm hmm. Railroads, anyone? Railroads? Even more connection across the country? I think so. Tensions dissipate. Great. Oh. 
They got... Oh, the Turks are... No, oh, the Ottomans are trying to kill off the Egyptians. Makes sense. Oh, good, 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 good. What do we need to build a steamer shipyard? Coal, steel, machine parts, lumber. Do we have coal anywhere else? I want to, eh, we must have built it down here. Ooh, iron. Yeah, I might build it right here. Because that's a lot of coal that we need. So here... We want to build one of these. And this is called... Herson. Herson. Um... Probably need some steel there. That'd be fine. We got some iron here. We must have made a steel factory down here, too. And to make... Oh, uh, well. Let's go down here. To really make this, we need machine parts and lumber. Sawmill. We need a sawmill. Just, uh, let's see. Where is the lumber? There's plenty of lumber in Russia here somewhere. Oh, there's more iron here. Oh, there's precious metals. I love wood. Cool. Wow, that's a lot of investors to make a winery. Hope it makes a lot of money for you, but you know, whatever. Let's see. Prussia, not in Soko movement. Check Gymnast. Huh. Who cares? <sighs> Porto Lejean. Alright, very nice, very nice. Oh, there's a few Russians there. Nice. Very good. Alright, so check out National Focuses. We're trying to get more bureaucrats there. We're trying to get some more clerks over there. We're trying to get some more bu bureaucrats in Mazovia, as well as Georgia. And then, oh, that's already done too. Nice. Where else do we need bureaucrats? That's pretty good. Pretty good around. We have some bureaucrats down here too, which is awesome. Administrative map mode. Colonies need work. This area needs work. That area needs work. Oh, let's do here first. There you go. Bessarabia. Number eight. I think so, my friends. Ooh, always. I always build small arms factories. Good. Um, make sure we always have enough steel. And we've got some Jacobin Rebels. Alright, let's build up another army then. That's a good reminder to build up more and more armies. I have three here. I think it was... Yeah, this group I was right there. That's fine. Good. Oh, troop ship. Huh. So, let's go ahead and build another army in Slusk. Alright, let's build it up like the one guy wanted first. Let's get... Mm, six. Not really six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. And then one, two. Get those Ukrainian hussars in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that's not quite twenty. Hmm. One. Two. One. And we do have two engineers, so I'll do that. So, we need just a little bit more infantry and artillery for that. Commission Dutch warship arrives. Great. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, hello. Nice. Alright, so these guys have showed up. And that's why I made 25 of these transports. Let's come down to where we need to be. Uh, since we have 60,000 here, I might just keep these guys down here. It'd probably be good to keep a standing army down here in Shanghai. <clears throat> Ooh, just in case. They should do more than fine. Uh, and... Ooh. The UK just killed off some Zulu people. Well, whatever, that's fine. I'm gonna keep you guys over here. Make another army. Keep it in Europe. And then make another army on the right side of the planet here. In Vladivostok. Another 60,000 stack. But if he's going down very nicely. Very, very nicely. Do we have rebels? Socialists? Yes. Jacobin rebels, yes. People who aren't. Oh, who's Eb Ebio? Who is that? Manchu. Mm. The brothers Karamazov. Fyodor Dostoevsky competed as a magnum opus of the brothers Karamazov, one of the most arresting works in the entire history of literature. The brothers 
Karamazov was a comedy that developed the major themes of Dostoevsky's post-socialist career as a writer, a comedy perhaps but arguably the most serious comedy ever written. <coughs> In his memory, The Diary of a Writer, Dostoevsky dismissed leftist criticisms of his works by remarking that no leftist had ever provided as damaging a critique of Christianity as its chapters Rebellion and the Grand Inquisitor in the Brothers uh, Kamarazov. Dostoevsky's works were hugely influential, not only in Russia, but throughout the West, and not only in literary circles, but in philosophic and philosophical and religious ones as well. I can't speak. Hmm. Words. Difficult. Austria, you need to really be taken down. Uh, France, would you like an alliance? Oh, wait, what the? The Liz oh, no! The Lisbon Conference! No! I wanted to do that. Oh, boy. When can we do this? We can't. Hmm. No naval base is close enough. Carla Spain is there. How much would it take for me to go to war with these? Oh, they're in. Oh, the UK. No, 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 no. No, no UK, no. Oh, man. Increased relations. Oh, I, I want to go to China. I want to do Asian stuff, and I do want to do African stuff. There's just not enough infamy for me, for me to do so. It takes five. Five. I don't like that. State industries fail. Reform the administration. Improve private incentives. We'll do that. Egypt. Oh, Steam Frigate's nice. Puppet. Actually, do we have any rebels here, there? Lower that a little bit more. Oh, that's a nice army coming along. It's very nice. And I can't leave that area because I don't have military access. Alright, well, whatever. How's this looking? Oh, naval base, yes. Hmm. Kurt. The circulation doubles. Do not deny the rumors of literacy. Uh, Russian watchmen talking about people. Deny the rumors. Sure. There's not that many people that can read anyway, so. Oh, that's always good. Dogma, violence, anarchic, anarchic bomb throwers. That's always useful. Always. <laughs> cool. Oh, that not good enough. Oh, that's really bad supply there. Why did I put them there? Radno. There you go, my friends. Hmm. Oh. There's some Swedes here, too, in Estonia. Huh. Good, good, good. Let's get that railroad. Hmm. Oh, they're fighting... Futuro. Turo. Well, one of the reasons why people want me... Someone wanted me to play as France and HBM, apparently, because infamy is... You get a lot of infamy to, you know, enjoy. Ooh, research points. But yeah, and for me, less than for me, the better. Uh, we make no distinction. Wow, America's got a lot of guys here. Including Mexico, Hawaii. Speak softly, carry a big stick. Oh, we're going to be carrying a massive stick. Uh, Persia. Oh, Greece. Nice. What is this? What the heck is that? The Putyaten Mission. The Japanese islands have only recently begun to communicate with the larger world. Considering the border we share with the Kurils, it might be prudent to send a mission to open up formal diplomatic ties with the Japanese and work out an arrangement to avoid future conflict over the islands. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. Hmm. Oh, good. They have militant socialists in the Ottoman Empire. The Kiwan Doctrine. It's, oh, unrest with, within Kiva against Russian rule has reached a boiling point, and it appears the only solution is to step in and rule them directly. Should we fail to do so, we might find Kiva soon taken from our control and turned into a target for foreign powers expansion. Oh yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh yeah. This is what I like. This is what I like, my friends. Oh yeah. Expand the railroads. Expand, expand. Oh, wait, we researched railroads. That's right. Duh. What am I thinking? I'm not. Let's see. National focuses. Georgia is nowhere near done. Bessarabia is com coming along. Mazovia needs definitely some help. How many clerks do we got here? Uh, that's not bad. Maybe we can use a few more? I don't know. Maybe a few more. For funsies, of course. Not looking too bad. And overall, let's go to infrastructure and begin plotting out better infrastructure for all of Russia. And it's probably not the smartest idea to start in Siberia, but whatever. So, uh, violence? 
equitable agreement. Okay, whatever. I was born to lead, not to read. Most of the time. A mountain of coal. Nice. Resolve changes to coal. That's in the Ukraine. Very good, very good, very good. And we have a decision up top. We get that. Uh, I thought I'd pause the game. Oh, another warship. Okay, cool. Eh, we might as well, for now. We've got the money for it. I don't mind doing that. Especially since we, quite literally, cannot make those types of ships yet. Which, of course, I'll delete later on, but it helps with our military score, colonial points, good stuff like that. Uh, defaults, Yucatan. They better pay it from here on out. They're in the American sphere, so I probably don't want to mess with them too much, but we'll see what happens. Good, good, good. Railroads for all. Like I said in the last episode, Russia is open for business. Very much open. Oh well, except for those few Jacobins we have around here. Alright, Greece. Usually I want to leave it to the British to help out the Greeks. But, you know, we'll probably end up fighting the Ottomans eventually, so that'll be okay. I'm okay, Bavaria. I don't really want to get involved in your affairs with the rest of Germany until we have, like, a great war against Austria or something. Yeah, it's 1881. <coughs> and the Prussians... Well, they haven't formed North Germany yet. Good. Tons of expansion. Tons and tons of expansion. We need lots of cement and lumber. On halt, uh, we'll be okay. Uh, execute him. Ooh, uh, Baden. Oh, political party's unavailable. Ah, Socialist Revolutionary Party's been formed. Cool. Oh, wait, Tunis is out? Oh, no, they. God dang it. Ah, Sokoto's so good to get. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Before I forget these guys, finally get some railways around here. <clears throat> Screw it. You know what? I can probably risk doing this. Uh, maybe? Hmm. The Tangier International Zone. Morocco. Huh. Alright, so what level are these guys at? 75. I'm not going to invest in them, so that if I invest into them, that would hurt us. God dang. DK must have a lot of infamy or... <clears throat> Something like that. Establishing a penal colony. No one escapes Azul's toll. Yes. Of course no one will. Alright, so we have another army done. Great. That army's done and good. Keep that close to Austria. You here need a cannon. Alright. Do we have anyone running around here that could provide a cannon? Okay, let's make sure that they get the 30,000 total. And we'll build a 60 stack down here. Good. Yeah, those ships not looking great. Uh, can I build up any steel steamers? Troop ships. Well, what, are steel, what are troop ships? <clears throat> oh, we got a steam frigate. But that's okay. Troop ships. Um, those sound a little better than clipper transports. Nice. It might be time for us to get rid of some of these bad boys. Let's see. Yeah, let's just get rid of these. We'll just use troop ships, I guess. That makes sense. That's alright. Let's do that. Nice, we're 7th in the world now. Good, just make a ton of these. Should be enough. 41. That might be a little bit too much. <clears throat> Maybe. Oh, we got rebels. Oh, reactionaries. Mongolian reactionaries. That's okay with me. Oh, do that. Can't do anything up here yet. No. Wait. How did they get that? Oh, my goodness. Oh. 
<sighs> God dang, look at the British. They've been insane. Sabah, Southern Vietnam. Of course, they have Hong Kong. That makes sense, but Malay makes sense. But come on, man. Oh, Portuguese Africa. Come on, just lower my infamy some more. I want pieces of Africa and China. <clears throat> I guess China's always the one in the end that we can always rely on to take out, probably. Until they westernize, of course. God dang, you stupid militant socialists. Just in case. Hold on. Ramp that up. Alright, I really don't like the UK. We'll keep friendly relations with them, but I really don't like them. I like the French. They could be pretty good. Americans are pretty nice people. Austrians are pretty okay, until I take them out, maybe. Japan, we like each other quite a bit. And Italy, colonial crisis? Tea time. Tea time. Okay, take them out, take them out. Yeah, I would love to see how much infamy the UK has. The die has been cast. The Chechen Congress. Hmm. Well, we're getting close to having half of our people being able to read. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, looks like, sounds like a ship. What is that? Bah Bahrain, wow. Bring us prosperity. Oh, iron in Warsaw, great. I would love to be able to colonize. Wow, the interior of Australia is still not colonized, which makes sense just because... <clears throat> it's a desert, probably. A semi-desert. Oh, Russian patriots, good. We must fear brethren, yes. And where is this? Late neighboring country, it's too risky. It's never too risky. Oh, and Tenutuba, of course. Let's see. Uh, where is that decision to annex Tenutuba? So, it exists. It's at peace. It needs to be in my Russian sphere of influence. And I need mass politics. Which is down there. In 1900. So, in less than 20 years. What? Japan? Get the hell out of here, Japan. Uh, on hot. I'm okay on hot. You know, if, if Europe goes to war, I feel like I'm the real wild card here about who changes to what side. Like, we could go, we could swing either side. Like, that's why I establish good relations with everyone. You never know what the Russians might do. Alright. Longo. Cool. Oh, Mongolia. Yeah, I don't care about Mongolia. Not too much, really. If I justify these guys now, the UK shouldn't go to war with us. They shouldn't. They are allied with Dahomey, which is whatever. That's sort of just fine. We should do okay here. And more research points, please. And thank you. Industry. Organic chemistry, synthetic dyes, oil, fuel. That sounds like some good, good stuff. Market structures. Hmm. Army stuff. Let's... Hmm, let's get some more army stuff, just because it's good to be on that specific army tech. That's the best one you can do, if you want to choose one. Hmm. Third in the world for military strength, that's not, no, but we have this. Great. Awesome. Hmm. Turkmenia. Huh. Good, they're done. Or they did that. Great. So, let's grab another 60,000 stack over here. I really think we need a bigger army in Europe, though. Alright, so we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Ukraine. Another stack. Oh. Huh. You're attacking Kuwait. Okay. Whew. Only two and a half infamy, pretty much. That's good. French Algeria, well, the French are really expanding. The more they expand in Africa, the less ability they have to go elsewhere, which is kind of nice. Because they have only so many colonial points. At least let me take a royal, if anything. Nice, very nice. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Keep high relations with these guys. Are they currently in a war? 
They are almost always in war. I don't want them to go to war with me, so if they're at war, that should be good for us. Uh, Japan, Austria, Prussia. Oh, good. So they're currently at war. That's nice. Our guys. Oh, we already give them maxed out stuff. Nice, and let's expand factories. Oh, we got more morale, about 10% more morale. Good, good, good. I'll do that, do that, do that, do that. Oh, 30%. Oh, it's 10%. They annex Kuwait. Oh, and are the. Ooh. Oh, they're still at war. That's fine. Let's go and go to war. Establish a protectorate. They're lead, led by them. We should do okay. Just in case, I will call my allies in. Persia won't accept, but Prussia will. This might be overkill, but whatever. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Some people said no, that's fine. Dahomey and Arroyo, which makes sense. Just, I want to kill them all first. Nice. Losing a little bit of money, that's okay. Come back down here to siege that out. Fine, Afghanistan, fine. Whatever. I don't really care. Wars are expensive. We're only third in the world for army, but that's okay. The second Danish liberation of Schleswig. Now hold on, what's going on up here? Oh my goodness, what's going on? Uh, Foucault de Jean, yes. War of the Pacific. Acquisition. Second liberation. So Denmark wants Schleswig against Schleswig-Holstein. Hmm. I'm going to say no. I'm going to immediately raise my relations with you again. There you go. Very nice. And you guys over there. Fine, so be it. I might be able to use you later. Ooh, Tenutuba, yes, yes. Romania, Tenutuba. That'll be good. I want I want to get them. Wow, that's 99. Wow. I want to get Tenutuba before we go to war with Ching Chan again sometime. Great. Can I go to, can I annex you guys? Ah. More Africa for us. Actually. Sokoto, you've been beaten up pretty harsh. Oh my goodness. Oh, I want to take you out so badly. I want to take you out. I really want to take them out. I wish I could take them out. But, oh, we're second in the road again. Great. Go down there. Go down there. I love being Pan-Slavic. Oh, are you guys... You're moving. Great. Great. Kharkov. Build a sawmill because we can. Is there anything else I need to build up here? Minor setback. Oh, that's not good. Anything I need to build for in terms of factories that you guys think I should do? Let me know in the comments below whether I should build up some factories in certain areas. Or maybe I should... Uh, you know, build some more troop transports here, too. That's actually probably a good idea. We probably need at least three fleets that use troop transports. At least three fleets. Really, pretty much every fleet should have it, especially our death stacking fleet. Just because they're, they're very good at screens. So, The great game? It remains a possibility? Oh, yes. That's what I've been waiting for for a while, too. I love it. Immediately go to war for these guys. Can I call my allies in? Afghanistan will not say yes. No, Persia. So be it. And this is after I just load that. Do that again. We should do okay here. Whatever. Good. Ah, oh, more armies. Great. I love it. Greece has rebels. Hmm. Should I help them? I don't know if I have enough ships to actually help them out, though. I don't want to move these guys around. But you know what? You're coming back to Europe for a little bit. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Give our guys a little vacation in Greece. Sounds kind of nice. A little Greek vacation. Especially if the economy's not, economy's not doing well. And that's probably pretty cheap for us. <clears throat> oh, look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, mountains suck. Mount fighting in mountains really sucks, especially if you're attacking. Good, we got more morale. <sighs> organic chemistry, culture. I'll go with organic chem. I love chemistry, even though I was terrible at chemistry when I was in high school. Absolutely. Oh, what's going on? Oh, what's going on down here? Uh, I mean, this is fine up here. Prussia's at war with, with it. 
with them as well. Um, why did you start mobilizing? That doesn't make any sense. Why would you mobilize? Well, how's the Dark Continent doing? Do no one has discovered the Dark Continent yet, which is fine. Uh, 10 to 2. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, look, we showed up. And we didn't need to show up at all. So enjoy the beaches, my friends. Enjoy the beaches, because we're going to leave soon. Prussia, why would you mobilize? That makes no sense. That actually hurts your economy. The last time I understood that. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. I'm allied with them? Uh, do I want to piss off the Dutch right now? You know what? The British didn't go to war with me when I took them out, so I'm going to say the same thing. Oh, I'm glad I checked this, too. I forgot we owned this. The Bukharan Doctrine. Assume control... Yes. Yes. No. Oh, we... Full bureaucrats there. Nice. Just in time to shift them over here. Hello, Prussia. Hope you never come over here like this real realistically. I hope you never invade me this far into Russia. The girl from the coal pits. The coal-laden lab or tub must have been weighed heavily on her body, fragile and worn for many years of arduous labor in the coal pits. For her feet can no longer carry her. There in the dark where the shafts go, countless fathoms deep, she slipped and fell. Another young girl has lost her life in a coal mining accident accident in one of our provinces, and the particular tragedy of the case has received national attention. Ooh. Sounds like labor laws are needed. Are labor laws a good thing? Let me know in the Russian newspapers, which you... God dang it, militant socialists. Hmm. Do I have a navy around you? I don't have a navy around here. I don't have my navy. Why don't you have another, like... Oh, what's going on? Ah, Port Arthur, Port Arthur, Port Arthur, Port Arthur, Port Arthur, Port Arthur. That's why I'm making another fleet around here. Maybe I lost it. I might have lost the Navy because they didn't have enough supplies, maybe. Hmm, that actually would make a lot of sense. God dang it. Well, I'll just finish off Coakland. Demobilize, Dahomey. Buenos Aires. Is that it? That might be it. Cool. I'll let you guys stay, like, right there or something. Eh, at least we're boarding Afghanistan. They're allied. I might want to take them out someday, though. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Oh. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, they're pretty bureaucratic around here. Hmm. I really don't like that. You know what? Is that enough, guys? Can we... we oh, god dang it. We can't put you on the ship. Oh, we don't have any... Oh, did I send... I literally... Oh, I did put it... To, oh, goodness gracious. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I have messed this up just a little bit. And that is not ideal. <sighs> but, anyways. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. We did pretty well. I mean, we didn't do too much. But we've done enough. We have annexed more of this Central Asian region. What else have we done? We have expanded a little bit more in Africa. We're watching the Europeans, the rest, the other Europeans, slowly encroach into more African territory. And we're trying to just prepare ourselves for an upcoming war, making a mass, just bigger armies all around. And it seems like there's always more armies that we could make. But, like I said, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow as we attempt to continue lowering our infamy, building our army, and industry up. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.